Okay, now I finished the generate code and database. Okay, let's go to the next step is to develop simple program to insert data in database. Before I do that, let me just query, say, uh, check any records in patient. And this is an empty record. Okay, then I go to the Eclipse. I generate code to this folder. Let me just refresh it. <coughs> then after refresh, you see there is a lot of error because there is no Hibernate library adding to there. But you can just go to the lib, right click, and add the olm.jar to build path. Then every error will be gone. Okay, now we generate the code com.patient.model. We generate doctor patients for you and please don't modify this code this is a, will be override when you generate again okay let me start write a simple program let me just create a new class and the package is say this is uh, testing uh, maybe better uh, come dot test and have insert data <coughs> then I can have the main class okay let me just format it and okay th we can start programming and some basic steps we need to take care about um, when we talk about database programming the transactions is important so let me just start the transactions I can create a transaction by patient management persistent manager you see this one and then I have the incidents and say begin get sections and begin transactions and then I can have the full event for exceptions and assign to <coughs> transactions objects and then I can try and catch if there is exceptions I will say this is the transactions will be rollback and else if this is go success then the transactions will become mid this can avoid we insert some data to the database and make the database inconsistent. Okay, now I can start trying to insert the patient record in the patient in the database. The step to insert the patient in the database is very easy. You don't need any SQL. Then I just say patient DAO, the data access objects, and then create patients. And then I can assign the patients to a variable and then I can insert the set the name you see the attribute will have the set method say this is um, Peter uh, Lamb something like that and if I like I also can set the date and I just knew the current date <coughs> this is the date and um, I just don't insert um, remarks anyway then after I insert the record here I create patient incidents and here I will set the properties to patient and finally I will save patient okay then I will say patient uh, sorry patient DAO again and save and pass the patient into it okay now I finished the steps I can run to insert the data before I run the, the, the applications let's just go back to the my SQL to see now patient is empty okay I right click and run as a Java application then I run the application now <coughs> oh I forgot to print something so <laughs> it just has nothing to print and now I select again then you have the Peter Lamb selected from the uh, inserted into database and the date is today 2010 October 4th okay this is insert database let's see the summary we have developed a simple program to insert data into database then we do the final step to develop a simple program to query the database okay then I create another class under the same package say this is a query data 
something like that. <coughs> then again, I have the main class. And since I don't want to save something, I just don't have the transaction this time, just make it simple. Then I can have the patient DAO again. And I can get the patient by a lot of idea, by ORM ID, say, just see the database. The ID is number one. So I just put the number one here. And have the exception, just add to throw. And then I can assign to attribute, this is a patient. Then I just print out the patient name. Okay, then I just finish and I can right click and one that's try for applications. Then now it will query the database to get the record num. Then you see this is a Peter name. And here is a very simple approach to query the database. But you may ask, I may have other something like select statement. You cannot replace the select statement, of course. Then I have another way. I have to say some criteria to do. Let me just show you to advance query. I also create another class. This is a query data tool. <coughs> And again, I have the main method, just as simple. And for example, I want to query all the patient, the name have Peter. Then I can write something to patient. This time I don't use DAO, I use the criteria. I can create a criteria, patient criteria, equal to I create the criteria objects. And then in the criteria, I can say that name, the name of patients that like, <coughs> say this is a Peter, something like that. Then uh, also have the four exceptions. And then I can use the criteria to list all the patients. Then it will return a list of patients that is. Um, fulfill the conditions then okay then I can run through a for loop to to list all the patients and I just pin out the name again patients dot get name you see the get the method now and I run the applications again now it, oh sorry I forgot to like I need to put the the symbol and I can run again <coughs> and you see I have the Peter name showing here and to make sure it works for example I change this one to John then I run again have no nothing so up and I, let me change to Peter again and we have one to show up here Peter name let me go back to here. For example, I use another one, Peter uh, David, something like that. I insert another record into the database. Also have the Peter. Now I insert and go to the database to take a look. I have Peter Lamb and Peter David. Then I go to query two and to query again. And you see this time two is matching. If I say Peter space Elo, then I will filter out the Peter David, but just Peter Lamb. So you see this is just like exactly like what you did is a select from patient where name like Peter it's exactly like this statement, this two statement. So <coughs> you can have the very simple and you don't need any single line of SQL to access the database. And thank you for watching this video.